Have you noticed in a Google Doc that sometimes someone's name or a date automatically turns into a gray oval? Do you know why? It's a new feature called Smart Chips, and they are very helpful when you know what it's for. Today, I will explain some of the Smart Chips that I find most useful and that will hopefully help you be more efficient and productive too. Let me know what you wish Google Docs could do or what new features you have already tried and love. Be sure to stick around to the end to learn how you can easily master all the best Google Apps tips and tricks. Let's explore the insert menu and specifically focus on some very useful smart chips. I love each one of these smart chips because they either connect your docs with other Google apps seamlessly, or they provide productivity tools right inside your doc. Today, we're focusing on these smart chips, people, files, voting, stopwatch, timer, and tasks. When someone's name turns into a gray oval on your Google Doc, it's because Google recognized that person from your contacts and turned their name into a smart chip automatically. As a smart chip, you can hover over their name and their contact info appears. You can add people's smart chips on purpose by typing the at symbol and then someone's email or name, either from your contacts or for someone who has access to that Google Doc or Sheet. When you do that, their name turns into a smart chip, a gray oval, so that you have easy access to their contact information right there in the doc. Once you hover over it and their information appears, you can easily email them, start a Google chat, a Google Meet, or schedule an event with them, all from that smart chip in your Google Doc. No more searching for somebody's email or phone number in your contacts. It's right there in your document. This is the integration between apps that Google is so good at and that they continue to improve. Similarly, you can use the files smart chip instead of adding a hyperlink to a file that you want to refer to. Instead of a hyperlink, you can now type an at symbol and then the name of a file inside of your Google Drive, or you can search to find it. That creates a smart chip in your Google Doc that shows a preview of that file and a quick link directly to it. This is great because you get a visual cue of the file instead of just a link. No need for old school hyperlinks within your drive. It's better with smart chips in 2025 and beyond. Do you ever need to get feedback quickly or make a decision within a collaborative Google Doc? The voting smart chip makes this easy. You can embed a voting system right into your Google Doc using the voting chips and emojis. Each person can click the emoji they want to vote for. If they click it again, it will remove their vote. So they can't vote twice for the same thing. These chips make your docs more interactive, more fun, more visual and keeps all of your information contained in one doc and avoids long back and forth email threads. During meetings or brainstorming sessions, do you need to time someone speaking or give everyone an equal amount of time? You can insert a stopwatch or timer right into your Google Doc using a smart chip and then use them directly in your Google Doc during a meeting. In addition, you could use these tools for yourself during your daily workflow to give yourself a deadline or to time how long it takes you to complete a task. Another feature Google added as a smart chip is a task. I already have an online class detailing the many ways to use Google tasks in your workspace, which you should check out to ensure that you learn all of the features. But this quick smart chip will give you a small taste of how amazing Google Tasks can be. Briefly, you can insert a task smart chip in your Google Doc and assign it to a specific person with a specific due date. Similar to the task tracker building block explained in another video, this task will appear in the assigned person's Google Task list, calendar, and app. And when they click the task complete, it will get checked off in the doc where it was created. In this way, everyone can see easily what has been completed or not. 
It's a fantastic way to manage to-do items right within your docs. So, smart chips. Which smart chips will you use first to save you time and help keep your systems integrated? You can insert smart chips for people, files, voting, stopwatch, timer, and tasks. These are all fantastic ways to add interactivity and functionality to your Google Docs. They save you time and make your documents much more dynamic. If you want to master all of your Google apps, click the link below to join Google Groupies. This membership gives you access to three months of all of those self-paced online classes to learn the best tips and tricks that I have to offer and gives you every other week live Q&A sessions with me and an online community of like-minded learners. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Google Apps tips. Let me know in the comments below which of these smart chips you're most excited to try first. And share this video with someone who should learn about these features too. I look forward to helping you succeed.